Are you able to see my screen? Yes, yes. I am able to see. Just a minute. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, we will start with uh, Pavlovian overview. Oh. So, what is what is Pavlovian? So, already like you worked on this uh, development, so you might be aware. Like, it is a Java application server where we can deploy our Java-based applications. Means uh, deploy means like uh, uh, whatever functionality we want to achieve, somebody will write the code. And if you want to want that application to be available on some like over internet like WW, so we will deploy there, and then that can be accessed through like across the world, uh, depending on our uh, network bandwidth and access. So all the Java related application we can deploy in Biblogic. So coming to like uh, SOA. So is the customized form of uh, like uh, Java. So Oracle so are totally based on written in Java, but Java is a language. But in Oracle so what they have done, they have done like uh, it's configuration based. And if like anything uh, Oracle so you already know most of the things. So Oracle so is uh, like uh, this product is totally built on Java. Oracle so suite, Oracle service was and Biblogic. So all the Java related application we can deploy. So when we talk about web logic, first uh, things comes into the, our our mind domain. So this yeah. is the like basic, uh, basic uh, unit of uh, web logic. If we want to do anything uh, within uh, like uh, web logic or install or we want to deploy, then we we should have domain created. So domain is the basic unit of web logic. Without domain. Uh, we can't do anything. So first requirement is that we should have domain created. Then we can deploy our applications, and then we can make use of that. So in order to create a domain, uh, we need to install the uh, Biblogic uh, product. So in Bevlo when we we say Biblogic product, there are like a if you see in oracle.com and you search uh, like uh, weblogic so there will be like different different versions for different different operating system so uh, and there is one generic uh, version also which can be installed and uh, like in any platform uh, and we can uh, like we can download from uh, oracle.com so that is called a, a generic installer mm -hmm. Okay. So, also if you if, like, if you have done some like sometimes installation for development purpose, you will install like JDeveloper, and JDeveloper will like uh, we can create the default domain. So it will create only one instance for development purpose, and uh, we, you can manage the server restart and everything from JDeveloper. So that is only for development purpose, and that is uh, like basically for uh, 11G. When we say 12C, so in 12C there are like certain changes in the product. So like in Biblogic, it's a totally Java based. So we need like JDK to install the Biblogic, and JDK is mandatory to configure the domain as well, because whenever we talk about server, a server is nothing but it's a one JVM instance. Java virtual machine. When we when we restart the server, that time it will uh, create the one Java virtual machine, 
it means uh, my uh, my each weblogic server will get associated with JVM. If you see in like our task manager, and if you have like a, a Java uh, some server running, here you can see the Java process. But as of now, in this nothing is running, so that's why it's not uh, uh, visible. Same way, like in Windows, uh, you have a, a task manager to see the uh, uh, different different processes. So, but in uh, in uh, Linux, you just uh, uh, just a minute, sir. Just a minute. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. Like in Windows, we have task manager to see the different processes. So like that in Linux, we have uh, this command ps minus ef. So it will list all the processes running on that particular Linux uh, operating system. So if you see oh. Linux, like mostly it's command, uh, it's like it, it command based. So this is Windows. Just I'm showing that. So if you type this one. And execute that. It, this is Windows, that's why it's not uh, allowing, uh, like uh, this command is not recognized. Once you list, uh, this, execute this, so it will list all the processes like this one. Like this one, what are the processes running? And if you want to see the uh, Java, uh, what is the grep means, uh, like if we do find in Microsoft Word or in our Windows. So in yeah. Linux, we, we say we, we have grep grep command to search particular thing. So if yeah. we type this if type this one then it will list all the Java processes. This particular thing will uh, list uh, all Java processes uh, running on that uh, VM. VM means virtual uh, box, virtual machine. So like this you can see if suppose uh, you have one domain, and in that uh, there is uh, like a, each domain. Uh, I will come back to this domain again. So you have domain, say one admin server, and uh, two managed server, and let's see one node manager also running. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, Sahu, I have a question. Yeah. Is it Shiva in this call or only V2? I think he should be there. Shiva, are you there? Tell me. Yes, Mana, tell me. Yeah, just now I got a call from my bank uh, regarding that. Is that process will go to the Hong Kong? Yeah, they will verify you whether you paid or not like that. Yeah, yeah, no, that is the transaction goes to the Hong Kong, the Hong Kong or some that side account? Yes, I think so. Actually, this gateway is from US. 
Okay. Yeah, just I want to check like these my these times uh, like chala outu na ikada so when cross check chase naaru Hong Kong side ante kunchi doubt par taru so andhe kan call uchna tumi. Yeah, just to check check kunda mani adiya. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thanks, Ahu. Thanks. So if my domain is uh, consists of one admin server, two manager server, and one node manager is also running. So uh, each particular like uh, in, this instance will create one uh, Java virtual machine means one process. If all are running, then uh, you can see four Java processes running in that machine. Okay. So like that, we like uh, whenever we talk about biologic server and that server is running. Uh, it means uh, there somebody say JVM instance is running, somebody say uh, this uh, biologic server is running, somebody say uh, that Java process is running. So these are the different different terminology used by different different uh, like um, uh, person. But uh, meaning is one only that it means server is running. So these are the like uh, some uh, some of the basic how how this uh, biologic and Java is related. So coming back to this, uh, uh, this uh, coming uh, back to between yeah. managed server and node manager. Yeah, I'll I'll tell I'll tell I'll cover that. Just I was covering this overview. So let's uh, cover some uh, some basics. Yeah, so whenever we like uh, after installation, I'll cover the installation later. Let's first cover the basics so that like it will be uh, comfortable for you. Mm -hmm. So domain is like basic uh, entity for uh, any web logic uh, functionality we want to achieve. And this domain may contain like at minimum one server. And all these things in that particular web logic uh, domain uh, it will contain the configuration also. If you have seen any 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 logic domain, that all the my data, like all the uh, uh, configuration which are inside the domain, it will reside in information will reside in config.xml. So what is this XML? Whatever changes you do and whatever like configuration you do during domain startup or after domain after domain setup. All these information will be contained in config.xml, and this config.xml will like uh, it will have a, a stanza or like you already know a XML. So like a, uh, if uh, there is parent element and child element, all the information will be like that. So it will mm -hmm. contain like all the uh, like if you if you if you have seen like uh, uh, whenever we log in, we give the username and password. So mm -hmm. that username and password will also reside in config.xml username you so can see but username password pardon web logic username and passwords will store in config.xml yes and this uh, username you can see but the config but uh, this password will be encrypted because of the security reasons yeah because i if for if you have configured the domain then i should not know your password by chance if i get access to config.xml also but I can't uh, see the passwords, whether it's a data source password or my biologic domain password. So this domain will contain at least one server. And uh, if, if when we say like uh, uh, server, so by default it should have one uh, uh, one admin server should be there. So whenever whenever we talk about like this uh, particular uh, admin server, so like developers use only admin ser admin server to deploy all these things. But in in production environment, admin server will not have a, 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 like a product deployed there. Only ad, admin server, what it will provide, you can access the console and you can change the configuration and you can manage your things. So we say, ad, why, as names suggest, it is for only administrative purpose. It will not have uh, like a, you you can't we can't uh, like pass any load to this admin server. Although we can do, but in production domain, we, we will not. So we will keep admin server only for like administrative purpose, like monitoring the server health, 
monitoring the like my data sources i'll come to data sources what are what are those data sources so when we so there are like domain may contain more than one server and minimum like at least one one admin server will be there without that domain uh, doesn't exist so as soon as we create the domain it will give at least minimum one admin server any question on this hello Yeah, yeah, I was on mute. Uh, yeah. Okay. Like one admin server will have multiple domains, right? No, no, no. It is like uh, vice versa. Like uh, one one domain, one admin server. That's all. one admin server can't be shared by two domains and two domain two uh, like uh, two admin uh, one one domain can't contain two admin server okay okay is it clear so in in put in 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 like a, a higher environment if you see like a sit or let's say test stage and prod my domain will be something like this one one admin server plus many servers mm -hmm. so this uh, test uh, may contain actually see whenever we say we, we like different different uh, this uh, uh, environment like you already worked on developments you might be knowing that like local uh, development environment then test environment then stage is nothing but pre prod then production environment so like each environment needs some hardware means this operating system so operating operating system uh, for with every every operating system, system there is uh, some cost associated whether you buy this uh, dell laptop or some other other laptop so based on requirement like as, as we move to higher environment my operating system or a hardware will be more uh, Uh, robust or more like it will more capable of handling more uh, like load so in test environment we can have like uh, say some companies will have uh, one admin server and one manage server so that you can do the basic uh, system integrated testing and that's all and when we say stage or pre prod these are uh, for user uh, acceptance testing so mm -hmm. all all the load testing will be done here as the name suggest pre prod so it it should be uh, replica of uh, production yes it means yes. exact photocopy of production so suppose uh, there will be one admin server for sure and there may be 2 uh, 3 4 means more than uh, are equal to two many servers minimum Okay. Okay. so that uh, uh, once uh, request uh, when when like my middleware is getting consumed from front, uh, front end like you already know middleware is nothing but it is one 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 um, uh, one point of like uh, connectivity to front end or back end it doesn't mm -hmm. uh, have uh, current, uh, direct users mm -hmm. if you have like uh, your soa service deployed in soa suite whether it is 10g or 11g that particular like a, a client which they are exposed services will be consumed by some front end mm. so there there won't be any direct user for my so layer if someone like it will not say that my my um, i could not submit my bill i could not pay my bill all these things we, we like middleware will not uh, uh, for middleware we don't listen what we listen this particular transaction is failed for this particular business so we will check on that why it is failed like how we troubleshoot so my my like front end will come to middleware and to once uh, like my front end sends a request then uh, what happens like my server should be capable of uh, handling the load so that's why in pre prod and production environment we will have more servers so that we can 
handle the load without disturbing the like transaction flow. Otherwise, if server is down, some, so some of the request will be like a, a, a timeout or will be in the queue depending on my uh, architecture, uh, architecture of my uh, application. If I am using GMS or distributed transaction, then maybe that particular information might be in the queue. So, so that my data will not get lost. So, depending on that, so that's why we have more than more than one managed server here to handle the load. So, here again, uh, if uh, what is a managed server? So, like suppose I have one of this uh, hello world uh, web service deployed. Mm -hmm. So, so I can like. Uh, 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 access this one. Suppose uh, my managed server is there here, 7002 or let's say 7005, and it's a, uh, it, it's a SOA composite. Uh, so uh, it will be something like that. Let's say partition name also will come here. You already know, right? This and then mm -hmm. uh, hello world, uh, Vishdel. Yeah, uh, here uh, this is SOA infra is uh, domain, right? Uh, no, I'll tell. So, SOA infra, like uh, when we when we uh, say uh, like uh, SOA domain. So, what it do, does actually SOA domain? It will have a admin server and it will have SOA server. If it is like a test domain or something local, my my SOA SOA thing can be contained in admin server. So, what happens? There is one particular. Uh, application. This is uh, one uh, Java application mm -hmm. deployed on some server. If it is your development environment, then this server is only admin server. If it is uh, some other environment, your server is called so a server. So if I want to deploy any composite in SOA domain, my SOA infra should be in active state. Means uh, when when you go to log into your WebLogic domain, and then you see you see the deployment status uh, of modules. I'll I'll cover in like uh, in coming uh, like tomorrow maybe tomorrow. So uh, this should be active state. Then only you can uh, you can access this. And so this SOA infra provides capability to deploy this hello world composite to my server. Then you can access that particular composite through my this is the my uh, host, and then on which port my server is running, and this SOA infra extension will be there. Then some part, some uh, partition name will be there, and then uh, it will contain your application related information. So once you hit this particular uh, this uh, HTTP call, so you can uh, you can uh, uh, see the component of this deal, what operation it has, what input is it is expecting, what is the schema. Uh, which schema is confronts to all these things it will contain. So if you have see, I was uh, talking about if you have more than two managed server, so then the same thing can be accessed this one like this. One is running on 7005, other might be running on 7009. So like that we can access this one. But again, uh, if I am giving to client, so client can either access this one or he can access this one. So now here comes concept of cluster. So like uh, suppose here, uh, let's say hello world one dot visual and hello world two dot two two two. So suppose my this particular let's say seven zero zero five port is for managed server one and seven zero zero nine port is for See, I am not covering uh, uh, very basic things, uh, assuming that you yeah. know something. So whatever relevant yeah. to you, I am covering. Okay. If you have any any I doubt, you can ask me. Terms or anything, I'll ask you. If I, yeah. I'm not asking means, you can go like I understood. Yeah, yeah, because you are the only person, only alone, so that's why I am not covering all these things. If you have yeah. any doubt, you, you stop me and ask me. So this yeah. is 7009 MS2. So these are the individual managed server. Now concept came for, for uh, this cluster concept came into the picture. Suppose uh, like if I have one or uh, more than one managed server, I can make uh, combined uh, this uh, combined request uh, like combined uh, 
uh, combine them and make it a cluster and let's say this is so a cluster. So what happens now? My this hello world one and hello world two both will be pointing to MS one and MS two because of some regions. If MS one goes down, still my both the applications hello world one and hello world two can be make accessible through MS two and vice versa. If MS two goes goes down, then my hello world application can be accessible through through MS one. So what happen? How it works internally? This biologic product. Uh, when we create like a domain rather we say domain it has a cluster capability so once we uh, we, we we have clustered configured so this my whatever i was saying this so infra will be targeted to as ms1 and ms2 and it is a cluster rather, rather than say it, it, it will be targeted to cluster so whenever I am giving this URL to my, uh, like uh, exposing this one, then he he will come and he will uh, my it will come to my biologic server and it will see which uh, if both are available, then there is like mechanism, uh, internal mechanism which one uh, which whenever is free that time it will handle the request. If one is down, then all the requests will be handled by MS1. If MS1 is down, then it will be handled by MS2. So what it provides cluster, uh, like it, it provides high availability. So, so it is like cluster is combination of more than one server. Combination of more than one manage one second hello yes or no yeah no tell me okay what is the issue Is not able to uh, you mean to say these are these are just in MDS or how? Okay, so which environment you are you are trying in uh, uh, AP? Then AP stage. Okay, so give me some time. I will come online, otherwise I can see tomorrow. Because this this issue should not come. Because if it is in MDS, all the MDS connectivity is already there in this stage. So we need to we need to refresh maybe MDS MDS details. We need to check in IDF config.html. So just you can drop me mail, I'll, I'll take a look at tomorrow. Oh, oh. oh give me like 30 minutes time, okay? okay. And send me, oh, okay, anyway, I'll check, okay? Sorry. So, hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, sorry. Actually, I got call from office. So, cluster is combination of more than one managed servers. So, you understood, right? This admin server. What yeah, is managed yeah, server? But I have a question here. Uh, yeah. Like when in process deploys on two different clusters, uh, that visual name won't change, right? Both no, will be like hello world one, hello world one. Only this uh, port number will change. 
Yeah, but here one more concept is there. I'll, I'll cover that. So what happens? Uh, there is one more concept of load balancer. So here, uh, a client will not see my uh, this uh, this particular host and port or machine detail. It will see here uh, load balancer uh, URL, and that's all. And like that for second one also there will be uh, this one. So all these things uh, will like here, both the things will be uh, visible through this one. He will not say where my server is running and which port it is running because ideally it should not get access to my details about my uh, IP and all the things. So this comes a uh, load balancer so it is like extra layer of security. And based on that, uh, once uh, this uh, we do some some configuration in between, in between this uh, uh, load balancer and a cluster, we make uh, some configuration on LB side. So depending, oh, sorry, I think, yeah. So depending on config, like we configure here. So once a request reaches to this load balancer, it will come to cluster and it will internally go to uh, this uh, particular MS1 or MS2 uh, internally. Maybe there are if, uh, MS1, MS2, MS3, MS4. So like depending on my request uh, uh, allocation at server level, it will handle this request. So there won't be not, like this, uh, M whoever has domain information, he can access both the URLs uh, independently. Like if you, if you see uh, and hit in SOAP UI, so mm -hmm. hello world one you can access through this one also. Mm. But to the client we don't uh, we don't uh, share all the details. So see like that you can access and similarly uh, this also you can access. Okay. okay. Is it clear? Yeah. Yeah. So uh, like internally LB URL this LB URL will take care of uh, which uh, host and yes. port has to be. Okay. Yeah, right, right. Right. Because uh, because of security region and uh, on top, like there are a lot of things been before LV also, they use some proxy servers like Apache, Apache, web, uh, Apache web servers to route the request. Like depending on how uh, complex that uh, uh, complex uh, architect of, architecture of that particular application. But these are the basic things. Everything will go by load balancer, and load balancer will take care of uh, routing the request to my uh, cluster environment. But individually, you can always uh, access these two, like from different different. If you like, you want to test whether my uh, this Hello World 2 is working with uh, 7009 minus server 2 or not. So you can check because if <coughs> if these are not working. It means my composite is not deployed correctly, or my cluster setup is not done correctly. So even if you don't do here, so suppose you are receiving 20 requests, and if it is a cluster, then for 20 requests it won't make any difference. <coughs> it will be handled by one minus server. But if suppose you are giving, getting 2,000 or 5,000 requests, then my one server can't handle, so few requests <coughs> will be timed out, and you will see the <coughs> some <coughs> errors that it, it did it, it did not reach to SOA. So mm -hmm. depending on uh, like our uh, 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 transaction volume, we we have to take care. Okay. So you got the concept of this, uh, what is domain, what is admin server, what is managed server, what is cluster, and some uh, overview of load balancer, how it manages. Yes. Okay. So I have a few slides, we can cover that. So th this is about domain and cluster is like um, uh, this one cluster is a group of servers. You can see domain has three, you can see these are uh, uh, like pentagon uh, servers and these, these, this is made of one cluster, these two are in cluster. So now there are some, some rules in 11G, 
like we have uh, if you remember we have like webologic uh, 10.3.4 10.3.5 10 10.3.6 so yes. these like 11 11 version so uh, I, i'll cover in detail if you want uh, to know about 11g otherwise we can skip this like all webologic i'll cover I'll, I'll tell in later once i create the yeah, domain i have a question here like in uh, yeah. for oracle 11g the weblogic server is oracle 10 right 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 so for 12c is weblogic uh, what's the version of weblogic it's uh, like a 12 uh, 12.1.3 12.2.1 .1, depending on our product selection oh there okay are, so until weblogic uh, 12 is also came yeah yeah it's oh. a 12. Dot, uh, because 10G itself called uh, this, uh, uh, like it is part of SOA 11G. So th then they migrated to this one, like a 12C. So it, it has the, it, its own version. Okay, yeah. Yeah, 12C, uh, WebLogic also 12C. Yeah. yeah. So now this uh, servers, what is it? It configure, uh, uh, sorry. It is a like instance to host uh, our application or like most of the load will be handled by my our uh, managed server in production domain or in higher environment. Then uh, these are the like what are the things we can it can handle. So Java applications um, now this is not about SOA. It is general thing like mm -hmm. I, I said SOA, SOA infra is one enterprise applications. So like if you know something about uh, Java so there are like uh, three types of main application one is the web app like which we can see over uh, like a http and navigate through browser another is that enterprise application ear so it contains like web app plus uh, some uh, some ejb and all these things so what what ER, ER contains like it will navigate nav navigate to this ejb or hyphen and all the information it will have so like that there is there is category i'll cover once when i cover the deployment what is web app what is enterprise app what is web service all these things and yeah. then uh, then jms and jdbc these are the resources for uh, one particular uh, server suppose if you want to have a jms uh, java messaging service uh, in your application then you need to configure the java uh, jms server if you have database connectivity then you should have uh, uh, data data source uh, uh, configured here, so that's why this concept is the JDBC. So now coming to these types of servers, there are two types of server. One is admin server, another is managed server. Yeah, I have a question. Like uh, yeah. when we are creating the domain, that time SOA infra will get created, right? When we create no, in in plain domain, SOA infra will not come into the picture because SOA infra comes with my Oracle SOA suite. Oh, okay. Other than SOVA infra, also, sorry, other than SOVA suit, only WebLogic will also have the domains. Yeah, WebLogic will have domains. So how it how it happens? Uh, so domain is uh, part of WebLogic server. It's not uh, part of SOVA. Uh, no, I'll I'll tell you. So, uh, so first, uh, like uh, when we when we do the installation. First, we have to do the JDK installation, mm -hmm. and then uh, then we have to do the uh, WebLogic installation. Okay. So, by th once you have installed JDK and WebLogic, you can create one domain. So this will be plain WebLogic domain. It will not have any products like neither OSB nor uh, SOA suite. Okay. So now when we say SOA domain, then we have to install my SOA, SOA product also. You might have heard this uh, uh, SOA quick start. Mm -hmm. So it contains all, but in, in, in production environment, uh, this quick start we don't do. We will install separate SOA product. Okay. So w once you create the domain, then it will ask me, select the product which you want to have in your domain by default uh, weblogic will will be selected but you have to select a soa product and then uh, there there will be OW, owsm and all the things you need, we, we need to select then only 
once we select the SOA product, then only I get SOA infra deployed in my WebLogic domain. Hence, in EM okay. console, I can see that. Okay, okay, understood. Uh, so, if the persons who are not using SOA, uh, they install only WebLogic and they create the domain. Yeah, yeah. So, we in plain. If we want to yeah. use the SOA product, we have to install WebLogic, then SOA product, then domain yeah. creation, and map yeah, right, this right. SOA to the the domain. Yeah. yeah, at the time of domain creation, whatever products you have installed in that, actually Biologic installer is called middleware, so whatever product you have installed in that middleware, whether SOA or OSB, it will show everything. So okay. you have to choose at the, at, the, at, the, at the time of domain creation. Okay. So in now in 12C, all the fusion middleware layer products, will, it will list once we install the SOA. Yeah, once we install the SOA, actually see again, SOA quick start will have both SOA and OSB. Okay. And, and BAM and BPM inbuilt. Mm -hmm. SOA suite. And okay. for OSB, there is different uh, binary. In, but in quick start, it will have uh, all WebLogic and uh, SOA and this... Uh, uh, OSB. So in quick start, we re we prefer only in our development environment. In a higher environment, we don't uh, install quick installer. Rather, we go to Oracle site and download the different different compatible product version. Suppose if you want SOA Suite uh, 12C, means 12.2.1.0, then you can't have a BevLogic version of 12.1.3. It will throw error that web middleware is not of suitable version. So all these things, WebLogic, SOA Suite, OSB, this should be of like uh, equivalent version and they need a particular version needs uh, uh, some kind of uh, uh, JDK. JDK like Java Development Kit, it should be of uh, corresponding suitable version. So okay. if, you, if you have SOA Suite 12C, you can't have JDK 1.6 it will throw error. For that, you have to uh, have the JDK 1.8. Okay, yeah, understood. So this is about server, and this uh, PPT, I will uh, send it to Shiva. You can go through, and all the uh, descriptions also written here. And if you have any uh -huh. doubts, you can, you can ask me. Yeah, sure. And this is about admin server. Now, uh, this is managed server. What is managed server? We can have as many managed server in domain as we need. And then here, uh, how this uh, connection happens, this I'll cover. So uh, this is the cluster. This slide, six slide, is uh, I'll cover. Mm -hmm. Cluster, I told you, this is for higher, uh, like high availability. It is mm -hmm. consist of more than uh, one, uh, one uh, more, more than one managed server. Mm -hmm. And so, I have a question here. Suppose I got a URL from some other person and uh, like some other team, and there, it's not showing any. Uh, host name and port number. That means can I understand that other other system is also have the cluster? Yeah, yeah. It is a, it is load balancer for sure. Uh, they will have clustered environment. Okay. If okay. It is, if it is like pre prod and production environment, in uh, development or state uh, test environment, sometimes people don't have. But in test environment also, generally, uh, mm -hmm. most of the uh, like. Uh, you, uh, enterprise or like a commercial application, they will have a cluster environment. Because oh. like once a developer develops, then slowly he has to move to production. So slowly like they will increase the hard, like a, a, we say this WebLogic setup infrastructure, slowly they will improve the infrastructure. So that developer doesn't have to face much issue that, okay, a, this uh, when I did the uh, like, uh, Unit testing, everything was fine. Why it is failing in UAT? Because in UAT, you will deal with load testing. You will push the 50,000 of data on the server. So if, it, if there is single node of a sing, a single node, a single node means single server, then uh, differently you will get the errors. To handle that, uh, those kind of like uh, a huge load, you, you will have uh, uh, more than one server. So that uh, uh, so, so, so that uh, your UAT will not fail, and in in production. Uh, live data will not uh, stuck, and developer doesn't have to think that it's a code issue. Okay.
So this is cluster. So do you want to see the this weblogic installation? Actually, CY is downloading all the software in Linux machine, mm -hmm. and uh, once he download he downloads, we can uh, 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 start using that. But as of now, uh, it's download is down is downloads in progress, and there is one more thing, like we can uh, get the virtual box image, like. Uh, uh, you already know that SOA needs a DB. I'll tell why it needs a DB. So this mm. is the like one um, one guide document for uh, like if you have um, uh, around 6 GB of RAM, you can download this. Uh, you can follow this document and have the like a, uh, this virtual box image uh, in your local, and it will act as a your uh, Linux uh, like machine. As soon as you log into that virtual box, it will have all the features of uh, Linux, and it will have all the uh, 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 all the softwares installed by default, but it is like a huge. Uh, you need to download around 16 GB of uh, softwares. So uh, directly, I can download from uh, internet. Or... Site. Yeah, yeah. You click on here. This okay. this is there. Click on here. It will show nine uh, nine links like this. Uh -huh. And each is of 2 GB. Oh, so oh. This, so this, this comes around 16 GB something. 16.2 or 16.3 GB. Okay, okay. So it, and it, how it, long it, will it take to set up? Pardon? How long it will take to set up the environment and all? Setup will not take much time. Once you download, you, you, you need to follow some... Uh, some uh, process given here and uh, it won't take much time it hardly it will take one hour but downloading 16 GB it will take a, a time depending on your bandwidth yeah because I like uh, I will mean, I'll try but I, I'm not sure because I can't take risk with the lap if something comes no? like something happens in here uh, it's very difficult for me to fix that so that's the reason I'm not taking any risk Something happens wrong, no? Uh, again, if my Windows operating system will get corrupt, no one will mm. be here to help me. Yeah, that's my problem. Okay, then then we can try with a, like quick installer. You can have the quick installer, and we can use this uh, 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 Siva machine to practice it, and mm. uh, and I'll also try to like download this because of this uh, size, I could not down. Because of size, I can't uh, download. I, I could not download today. I thought it will be only five or six GB, but when I logged in and checked, it was 16 GB. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, now I have downloaded two 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 soft uh, two softwares. One is uh, this JDK, and another one is the uh, this uh, WebLogic server. It 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 doesn't have. Uh, uh, this one uh, means uh, 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 so sweet always be. It is plain web logic. Slowly, uh, like uh, I told you, now this diagram, you can make like make uh, notes according to you. So this JDK and web logic. Once uh, we are, we are done with this web logic, then I'll install so So you will like get a, a feeling of this one, like how these are related. As of now, uh, this 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 version is only for web logic. So for every anyone uh, will maintain servers on Linux only, right? Yeah, every company nowadays the Windows uh, uh, the trend is gone. Earlier uh, they uh, like uh, when I started my career that time they had uh, like Windows uh, a few few yeah. few applications running on Windows, but now it's totally Linux and Unix. Yes, yeah. Even development servers also they are running on Linux servers. Yeah, yeah. Only like a developer will do the development, and that's all. There means. Uh... So let's uh, like try this one. 
so so java is already installed in my machine okay so this is the 1 1.8.0 uh, 1.8 version only and so i will not install again but if you, if, you, if your machine doesn't have java you just download this particular like a uh, java depending on your uh, uh, operating system and uh, like a six, whether it's 64 bit or not and then you install it it will install for yeah, you now, right right now I, on my windows i have jdev 12c okay yeah one second Yes, sir. Actually, yeah, because that MDS is not uh, uh, mentioned in ADF config. That we need to mention that. Yeah, in Jenkins. If you see, like you you make a, a connection in JDEV for MDS connection, and you will see that there was like so shared and apps MDS apps like that. So those are one of or this is missing that's why. Yeah, we have to add in ADF config.xml, but uh, first you, you can do one thing, you have JDF installed in your machine. Is it is is a repo around you? Ah, Hey, Riku. Sorry for disturbing you. Uh, can you make a MDS connection in JDEV and show it to uh, this guy, Srinivas, for AP, 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 AP details? Get the password from uh, Srinivas and uh, connection stream and everything. And you know how to make the MDS connection, right? So you, you show him. So one of the, like, this MDS connection is missing in uh, my, uh, like, in our uh, Jenkins job. So if you see, get the, this this guy has access for Jenkins 937C machine. So go there and go to this uh, this uh, uh, AP domain, AP Jenkins of workspace. So there, uh, if you see inside workspace, there will be like a, uh, uh, if you list all ls minus al, you will see dot area uh, for uh, one uh, particular directory hidden. Mm -hmm. In in back end, yeah. Okay. Workspace means work. One of these AP stage domain inside there there is workspace. Workspace that then list ls minus al. You will see one hidden directory. Go to that cd dot something then slash meta enough. Then inside that there will be one file adf config dot xml. So once you make the connection in JDEV, uh, you will see there are three namespaces, three references, uh, two references defined, and add this third one, whatever is not there. It, no, no, ADF config.xml, you will see it's uh, like easily ident identifiable. You can find out that these are the two main tags defined. One is for source and another is for MDF. Like that, you will find third one. But take backup of that. Which file before editing it. Okay, so can you do that? Actually, I'm busy. Otherwise, I could have done it in two minutes. So, yeah. You open that. Yeah, yeah. You, you open that and then give me a call. Okay, thank you.
Uh, yes, sorry, actually, I got call from hmm. office. Yeah, fine, Hello. Fine. Yeah, fine. Yeah. So, like, uh, so you were saying something. You have JDK installed, right? Yeah, and yeah, JDK and uh, this J Developer 12C is installed. So. Okay. I just I want to know like uh, the server which comes with the J developer is you web can't like, we can't uh, see the domain it will have default domain but uh, you can uh, you can uh, like uh, download this file uh, let me I'll, I'll share all these things okay from Oracle site download this uh, generic installer oh okay 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 so once you install this one and then my java is already there so i will not say anything and how to just check the set the class path you already know or mm. so i cover that mm. path or path how to set no no cmd i know yeah okay fine so in 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 uh, linux also you can uh, uh, you can uh, like this, this one export yeah. Java, Java home is equal to like that in, in Linux this is the things uh, applicable mm -hmm. so this is uh, done now what I will do I'll go here and in in uh, Linux one more thing you need to say uh, you need to set so I'll, I'll cover that also okay. so, so here I'll, I'll get this path and how to install this one Java minus jar and I'll go to this path this is the jar this is the path and then I'll I'll, I'll browse this one okay sir fm white is not coming okay one second it's a zip file let me extract here so it will open one jar file this one as of now it is a zip zip, zip file and in zip inside zip file this is the jar file so w WS web logic server so I think this will create problem uh, maybe this is space will get create problem this one and then uh, here this particular uh, sorry yeah, this is a jar name FMW yeah so this is this is the thing and once you hit it it will open it will uh, like uh, do this is launching log file and all the things so extract it will extract the installer and it will check uh, whether uh, enough space is there or not if there is any issue uh, then it will throw the error otherwise it will uh, it see select so here my system uh, it's this should be executed as run as administrator so I'll I'll go to this particular it, I'll exit from here and okay. I'll open this start this Windows 8 so mm -hmm. so let's uh, do another by another way here mm -hmm. uh, it should not, why it is not coming one second let me google it how to run as no no just so. click on the command prompt right click uh, open yeah, yeah right click yeah open uh, when you open it, it will ask you open as an administrator. Right click yeah, on the. Yeah. No, no, here only. Like right click, right click on this. Here won't come. Otherwise, some some process some shortcuts are there. I forgot how to open. Run. I forgot the administrator in Windows at Windows key. Yeah, in con uh, WinR, uh, just click WinR and uh, type uh, CMD run as admin. 
webinar space cmd space run space like that ha uh ha -huh. okay now let us okay no don't it uh, as 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 no not not it no there is no it run as admin okay i'm not sure whether it's no no administrator not administrator just admin enter yes it's working in my operating system i'm not sure about you yeah know it. it worked yeah okay. but it is still is not coming like that so go to desktop oracle source oracle soft and java minus jar and fmw i did not give a complete path because here i am already there in that absolute path hmm yeah understand actually here it comes run as administrator yes yes yeah it will come it, there it did not coming <gasps> this windows no it varies from Voice to voice. Yeah. Copy this node. Copy this code. What is this code? Right click on common prompt and run it as a copy. Every time I forget it. from the text and windows explorer right click if we have the shortcut or the direct link to the cmd prompt then it will yeah. come yeah, let's see if we are doing from run command yeah, yeah, yeah. this is coming application bar and uh, at the bottom Sign somewhere here. Windows. Oh. Command prompt. Do you use? Are you able to see my screen? Yes. Yes. Oh, it is saying somewhere. It should be there. Okay. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, this is the easy way. Just be nar. Mr. Command prompt, but I don't see here. Sorry. CMD. Command prompt. And there should be some other thing. from task bar at command uh, and task this is answer <coughs> yeah yeah it came now yeah so we have to press uh, alt windows key and r so now it came cd and what in this oracle soft so this uh, dot dot is uh, for going one step back so this is uh, applicable in uh, linux as well mm. so here we will give java minus jar 
and it will FMWR. Now it should it should be fine. So if any error comes, we need to troubleshoot according to or like error or description. Yeah. Sometime what is happening now? Okay. Uh, it doesn't have valid uh, JDK installed. So this is the error came. It doesn't have JDK rather than it is finding JRE. So now what we will do? We will uh, install the JDK also. So this is the JDK. It should open now a new, new window or we will run from here only. It's on application so simply we can do that. So I'll change the directory uh, to E drive. So you downloaded J. Uh, what's the downloaded file name? Uh, this J is uh, uh, JDK. This is like a JDK 8 update 111. So if you go to this Oracle website, download the logic tool. So you should have an account in Oracle. Mm -hmm. yeah. So these are the installer. So except this one, these are the generic one. This is quick installer. So always use generic one because in production environment and higher environment we don't use quick, quick installer. And once you click, it will download. Now, uh, so th this is the page for this one. I mean downloading this web logic. Java and make me folder. Yeah, one second now. Yes. Hello. How are you? नहीं नहीं वो पूरा पूरा मैंने पूरा स्टेज का ये वो प्रोडक्शन का एक करना है वो एमटी ओएसबी डोमेन को बाउंस करना है नहीं ठीक We will, we will not do it. We, I did not get approval from Ajay. Because OSB extra restart. Yeah, no. So now JDK is installed. So what what I will do? I'll uh, go to E drive. 
because my Java is there, Java, and uh, here. Java and bin. So I'll type like this. CD means change directory. Same command is uh, command will work in Linux also. So mm -hmm. now here my Java is there and uh, jar and then uh, uh, this one. I, uh, I need to give now absolute path for this desktop. Oracle software, Oracle soft. So here, here I'll go and if um, I'm this time it should work. Otherwise, we need I need to remove the class path if it is taking default Java. Now see it, it is passed everything. So it will check for all these parameter. If anything um, uh, is not available, then it will throw the error. This uh, GUI will not come. Mm -hmm. So this is called graphical uh, mode of uh, uh, installation. Okay. Yeah, just I want to know like to, uh, in Linux system directly we won't get this UI faces, right? So we, we have need to, to set the something. display. We need yeah. to export the display. And uh, directly it won't work. Uh, IP and uh, some 1.0. So it, uh, once you export this display and type X clock, so here in right hand side and somewhere in your screen you will see clock clock icon. Mm -hmm. If it is coming, then this display will come. Otherwise, we need to troubleshoot that. For that also, I'll give what are the errors we can encounter and how to troubleshoot that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, those kind of uh, basic, like admin basics, I want. Yeah. So click on uh, now next. Now this uh, once you get this GUI, so this is now like um, uh, it, uh, everything is self-explanatory. You have to just follow. Click on yeah. next. So th this is a uh, uh, for uh, updates and all the things. When we have license, we can check in all these things. <coughs> but we don't have license, mm -hmm. so we will uh, like we, we we are using for non-commercial purpose. So we'll uh, skip out updates. Now this is the Oracle Home means middleware home. So we need to browse where you want to uh, 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 install your domain. So here it should be fine. Now this is done. So this is Oracle Home. Now click on Next. So here, see what are the things you need to install: WebLogic Server, CoreNG. These are the things available in inside this product. So we will uh, say WebLogic Server only. We we don't say like complete with example. If we say that, then WebLogic Server and CoreNG, these two will get installed. CoreNG is another like uh, uh, product. It comes bundled with the logic server, and some companies uh, are using coherence as a repository. Repository means uh, for storing the data and uh, for other stuffs, for caching the data. But uh, we will talk uh, like coherence. If you have uh, like uh, your uh, project requirement, I can cover in like uh, uh, at the end of the training in uh, like uh, one hour or one hour 45 minutes. But as of now, we will uh, deal with the logic server. Okay, so it's a repository for WebLogic server activities. No, not for WebLogic server. For my uh, my this one. Uh, see, it will come uh, when you selected this one WebLogic server. All these things will get uh, installed. So this is one uh, one kind of repository for storing. Like you have uh, this uh, metadata storage MDS for uh, uh, for placing the common schema and yeah. common visitor like that. We have uh, for placing some particular uh, shared information here and fetching it. And coherence now it is like uh, it has a lot of things, uh, and more few companies using it is widely. But uh, most of the companies don't uh, care about that. So this is the these are the things will get installed. If you see here, uh, 
core server, application server, and HTTP server, and ISCA component. It, it doesn't mean that uh, it will have server suite installed. It will not have. Mm -hmm. So for this, it will show another product. We need to select the middleware ROM, and on top of that, we will need to select. So I'll cover that later. And third-party JDBC drivers. You know, it's like what JDBC drivers are required to uh, connect yeah. to different different yeah. databases. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like apart from Oracle database, a DB2 and all the things in this, mm -hmm. and this is the Maven support is there in 12C for uh, uh, deploying and all the things. So mm -hmm. now we will select this one. What is Maven actually? Maven is the, like you know Ant script. Yeah, I know. So Ant is like for deployment tool. Maven is also like build and deployment tool. So it comes bundled with uh, uh, this one. So now see this error came. Uh, checking the JDK version uh, not a certified time it was made generally it may have been uh, certified following gen, uh, general availability so this is just a warning we will ignore this one and go to next step so here uh, uh, generally in production environment we should not bypass anything it's my local so I'm bypassing it otherwise we need to uh, check the correct version okay. so here uh, again we don't have uh, like Oracle account or anything so we will bypass this one. Next, you have not provided. A, do you wish to remain un, uh, uninformed of it? Yes. So now it will see these are the things it is installing, and these are the location where this will write the log, means uh, what or how, how installation went. Okay. Okay. If you do line by line and follow the like every message, then uh, you can easily troubleshoot oh, why it is failed. Or you can save the response file also. Okay. Desktop and so weblogic concepts. Weblogic installation file log. So it will write everywhere everything here. Now click on install. Yeah, so for build, building, uh, we can use Maven or Ant. Either we can use, or both we have to use. Yeah. Now in 12C, um, they are recommending Maven, so we can use the Maven as well as Ant also. I'll cover both uh, once we are done with uh, uh, SOA concepts also. So I'll cover how to do that if you want to learn both. Yeah, yeah. Because I, uh, I'm cause... sure in production environment in 12C, everyone is using Maven. Okay, okay. Yeah, you have to do because they will raise a ticket to deploy the process. Yeah. I have to work on those scripts and all. Yeah, so I'll cover uh, like some scripting also so that you will have a hands on it. Because in higher environment, it's very important. Nobody wants uh, to do all these things manually. Even installation also, they don't want to do manual. Okay. But as a starting point, uh, manual is like uh, you can easily troubleshoot the errors. If you, we go through a scripting in each expertise, and troubleshooting takes time. Okay. So that so means you uh, don't want to do with the UI or like manual means? Uh, uh, like this is the UI and it is, it is taking time, right? So we hmm. there are three types of installation. One is the, this uh, graphical user interface uh, mode. Another is console mode, means uh, here only it will show everything here and third uh, third is the silent mode you will write the xml and uh, you will execute in that uh, silent mode so you don't need to set any display so uh, it, it will write the like output in response file and you need to pass the this along with the jar that particular silent xml like which you will write uh, it will have set of uh, instruction so th there are three types of installation Oh, so for, uh, for silent mode, they will provide the file? They will not. Uh, they will not provide. We have to write. Whoever is the admin, we have to write. Suppose uh, you are creating 20 domains. So if you go by this way, it will take minimum 30 minutes for one, 30 or 40 minutes for one domain. But if you have uh, a scripts written, it will take uh, hardly 20 minutes or 15 minutes. Oh, my God. So usually we, uh, the people will do in that way? If uh, it depends on client, most like 80% of the client follow this uh, this way because they don't need much domains. Hardly they need to create uh, uh, two or three domains per year. Okay. 
Okay. So necessarily they will not ask, but if you suppose if you are, there are complex, like there are around 20 domains or 30 domains and it has around 2,000 applications deployed in 30 domains and they, they are migrating from 11G to 12G, then they will ask to write the script so that uh, this, oh. in, this setting of the infrastructure time can be reduced. Oh, okay. Later, like at last, I can cover this uh, through scripts. You, you just remind me at last because, but uh, as of now, first you are in learning phase, right? So first yeah, you yeah. should focus on these basic things. Then complex thing we can take it later, and uh, I'll, I'll I'll help you on that. And slowly, like you will gain the confidence also. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you, you have any doubt, you ask me. Yeah, fine. No, I don't. Yeah, just I need this uh, like names so that I can download and install. Yeah, I'll share. So the server which we are getting with the J developer is different. That is default domain. That is default domain. Okay, we won't create any domains over that server. Yeah. yeah. We and can create, but it is for development purpose only. Okay. I installed the server J developer, but uh, when I'm accessing with the my local host, it's not coming. So uh, where can I check that? What's my host name and port number? It's taking. Right click on your computer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me try once. No, no, J. Okay. Let's try, let's try the J developer. Ten minutes. Ago.
Yeah, so it is completed. Uh, here everything is green. Click on next. And all these things are uh, uncheck this one. I will tell why because I don't want to execute domains right away. So these are the things that gets installed. Uh, are you with me? Hello? 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 Are you with me? Hello? Hello? Yeah, so th these are the things. I have unchecked this one because it will launch for creating the domain. So I don't want to do that. I want to show you how to create the domain later. So these okay. are the things insta uh, installed. Now this is the path. And uh, like uh, this, uh, finish this one. And then we will go to here. This is my. Uh, this is this, these are the directory I uh, got created as part of weblogic installation. Okay. So okay. these are this is for coherence. We will not touch this one. Coherence, if you want, I can cover later. And uh, these are the for. Uh, some environment properties. So now our main thing is that Oracle Common and WebLogic Server. These are the two directories for our importance. O patch is for uh, installing the patches on my product. What are the, those? What are the patches and why we need that? I'll cover tomorrow. So, so mm -hmm. if you go here, Oracle Common and Common inside Win. There is config dot uh, sh. This file is for uh, Linux. Config dot cmd is for Windows. So once you click on here, run as uh, administrator, so it will create the domain from here, this path. Okay. 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 So like that, we can create the domain. Okay. Okay. And, uh, and this config dot sh for uh, sh is cell, cell script for Linux. Yeah. And yeah. for Windows is config dot bat. So so I'll. Uh, uh, I'll share this one, and tomorrow we will have a more, uh, more uh, like a cover uh, rest of the details. Actually, I have some issue in production environment. I'm getting call from office. So is it fine we close uh, for today here? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just share me those details, and uh, yeah, just I want to share. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'll I'll share it uh, within one hour. Give me time. I'll uh, send it to Shiva, and he can forward it to you. Okay. Yeah, sure. Just a minute. I'm running the server from my J developer. Uh, mm -hmm. So, like, uh, should I uh, access from my hostname dot uh, colon? Uh, what's the default port? It will be default port is seven zero zero one. Okay, okay. After this starts, I will check. Uh, earlier, I checked. I could not able to open the console. Okay, I will try. Seven zero zero one. Okay. Okay, please share this information. So I'll try yeah, to. I'll share. I'll share within one hour. You can ask uh, Shiva so that he will pass on the information to you. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure. Fine. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. So, thank you. Yeah, same. Uh, tomorrow also same time, right? Yeah, ten o'clock. And Monday, uh, like uh, Saturday, Sunday, we can connect uh, earlier and uh, ex extend it for uh, uh, two and a half hour. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, so I. Sunday, uh, if it's in the night time, like my night time means your morning, that is also fine for me. Okay, then morning I can take it for more time because in evening my kid is waiting for me to sleep and also I get call from US team and all the things. So morning is very silent for me. I can cover like okay, 7 o'clock. Uh, yeah, weekends I will be in the night uh, at home only. So okay. yeah, this is my whole weekend, like Saturday, whole Saturday will be blocked. Okay. Yeah. So weekends I will take in the night. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Hello.